Hello, hello, gorgeous souls. As you can hear, I have a cold. Many people were down with a cold, runny nose, combined with hay fever and just the weather here in Switzerland. It was sort of like 20 degrees one day and then back to five. I oh, have to translate it into Fahrenheit for you, probably. So it was about 68 and then down to 40 um, Fahrenheit again. And just that constant change is a bit hard for our bodies. So what does that mean? So you can either be annoyed, so, oh God, I have a cold. Or you can be frustrated or feeling like you've done something wrong because sometimes we are told oh staying healthy is the form that everything goes right but that's okay you know sometimes okay if we overdo it or if we don't look after ourselves if we don't eat a balanced diet or yeah all these kind of things have an effect, but in every day's life, we can catch a cold, we can have the flu, we can, you know, things happen. And that's also sometimes really important to say, okay, maybe my body just needs a cleanse, something needs to release. And it finds it in the form of, of a cold, or sometimes if, you don't give your time, your body time to lie down. Sometimes, yeah, your body makes you lie down. Like when you catch the flu or, or pull your back or something like this, just for you to rest a bit. So embrace having that. And especially as we are now in between the eclipses, so much is falling off and so much is cleansing on another level. So whatever you're going through, whatever is no more aligned, let it go with love, love in your heart. I mean, if you're moving your home, I always went through my old home with gratitude and said goodbye to my old home to really clear that energy and entered the new home. It's sometimes it's easy to just gone with it and gone but really appreciate the time you had there in your old home and, and and clear the energy and give thanks to the place and also to the people who maybe walk out of your life which is also part of our journey friends stay for a season you know and sometimes yeah a new new era comes along so whatever is happening to you right now, trust, come back to trust that all is meant to be. Life is happening for you, never to you. It's always happening for you. Like, what's that now? 15 years ago, when my marriage ended, of course, I felt that was the worst day of my life the worst time of my life. But now looking back, I actually think that was the turning point. It was actually one of the best times. I, it was a release. It wasn't meant to stay together, that marriage. So it ended. And uh, yeah, things fall apart for a reason. And it's always for our best interest at heart. Today, I really love to clear on a deep level and ground ourselves, really remembering to come back into our body. And if you can go out in nature, if possible, even walk barefoot on the grass or moss or put your feet in a little stream. If you can, maybe even swim in the ocean, of course, with salt water is great. Just clear your energy on a deep level and ground yourself. Come back to the here and now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, but here and now. Because if you're in pain, then you're living in the past. 
And if you're in fear, you're living in the future. But in the here and now, everything is perfect, just the way it is. So I hope you love to come back to the here and now, to the present moment, and clear your energy and ground yourself and feel more at home in your body and releasing, releasing what no longer serves you. So find a quiet spot for yourself, sit comfortably, close your eyes, and maybe put your hands on your heart and just take in a deep breath. <laughs> And come back to your heart and just feel into your heart. Maybe you feel like your mind is already quieting down. Your thoughts are getting calmer. And you arrive in your body, the here and now. And now imagine yourself somewhere in a beautiful spot. Maybe it's the beach, maybe it's the forest, it's the mountains, maybe it's your garden. Wherever you find yourself is perfect. Take in a deep breath and arrive there in that sacred, beautiful spot. Feel your feet on the ground. Connect to Mother Earth. Let the roots grow down, 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 down into Mother Earth. Really grounding yourself the here and now. And on Earth, whatever is going on in your life, right now, here, deeply grounded with Mother Earth, all is safe, all is sacred. So, let those roots grow deep, deep down. Anchor yourself. Feel more calm. And whatever, whatever in your life is troubling you right now, take a deep breath in and let it grow and let it just down into Mother Earth to be transmuted. If you have a person in your life that just feels a bit off, let that relationship dissolve and be transmuted with Mother Earth. Take in a deep breath and everything in your whole body, every cell, just breathe out everything into Mother Earth and let it be transmuted, transformed. And bring in that fresh earth energy up into your feet and legs, your hips and belly, your chest and shoulders, your arms, throat and head. And fill every cell of your body with fresh earth energy, deeply grounded. Now connect to the universe with gorgeous white light. And ask for support in any areas of your life where you might need some guidance, clarity. Maybe with things you, you feel you're holding on to maybe too strongly. Bring down that white light into your crown and head and into your shoulders and arms and into your heart and restore that trust in life. Maybe you have children in your life, partners or parents. You worry about Send them trust. Ask for the angels to look after them. And trust that they are safe and supported. And breathe that white light into your belly, hips and legs. And as you're still in your beautiful spot, 
you see a beautiful rainbow and you know that new light is coming, a new era, new energy. As you walk towards that beautiful, beautiful rainbow and you walk through the rainbow and there's sort of like a little rainfall washing away all the worries, you're still clinging on and it's transmuting your whole body. And you step out on the other side into beautiful bright sunshine, warming every cell of your body. And as you see a bench, you sit down there, overlooking a valley. And you just sit there, Ask Archangel Michael for protection for yourself and your loved ones. You ask Archangel Raphael for healing for yourself and your loved ones, and maybe people that are close to you. See them all in green light. And you ask Archangel Ariel for clarity. And that energy, that spring earthy energy to move forward in your life. So you can take the next step. You feel called to. You got the protection from Archangel Michael. You got the healing from Archangel Raphael. You can cut all the cords and you get the strength from Archangel Ariel to move forward in your life. And remember, it's like monkey bars. You have to go let go of one hand in order to move forward. And then the next one. And it's just that first step that is more daunting as you then have sort of the swing, you can take that energy with you and move forward and move forward. And it gets easier. And you can do that and move forward in your life. You have all the help you need. Come back to your heart. Trust your heart, your guidance. We've cleared everything. You are ready. You are ready to take the next step now. Breathe that in, into your body. As you come back into your room and the here and now, wiggle your toes and fingers, feet and hands. Arms, legs, stretch and open your eyes gently. And do that meditation a couple of times, just clearing on a, on a new level. And come back to that trust, that trust in life, that trust in yourself. I am sending you so much love and speak to you next Tuesday at four. Bye.